These are community emergency volunteers in a training exercise when the Centennial Lake CERT team was first organized. They were put to work on a real emergency just days after graduation in 2008 when a tornado hit Hugo with winds of up to 165 miles an hour. It severely damaged homes and farm buildings and caused one death. Newly trained members of the community emergency response team were ready to help. Our team was able to go out into the field and pick up debris, so metal debris that had blown from the neighborhood mile into uh, the farm fields. They also helped manage about a thousand other volunteers who came in to lend a hand. We learned a lot that day and it is very taxing to be out on a hot day picking up debris after a tornado in a community that has been devastated but we really were excited to be able to help and newly formed CERT team had absolute relevance from that. Centennial Lakes Police Chief Jim Mork says a trained team is a valuable resource in any number of emergencies. You know, there's a plane crash or a big fire or a blizzard or flooding. I mean, we don't know what the potential calamity might be, but uh, we just know living in Minnesota, it's just a matter of time when that's going to unfortunately occur. Working with police at a scene, volunteers would be trained in basic first aid, search and rescue, fire suppression, and triaging the injured. How to identify an injury and how to stop a simple bleed and keep, se keep someone alive until further medical aid shows up. Volunteers will learn what the experts call situational awareness for their own safety. We don't want the CERT members to put themselves in danger, so if it's a, a safe area to go into and they can search for people, then they can go in and search for people out and, you know, say a tornado comes through and there's a bunch of trees knocked down. They'll also come armed with a backpack full of tools of the trade. Think of it as a sort of go bag you would take with you on a call. There's a first aid kit, an emergency blanket, and a yellow marker that could be used to indicate a home or car has been checked. One of the things every single member will get is this handy tool right here. Does many, many different things. You're wondering, what exactly does it do? Come to our class and find out. For North Metro TV News, I'm Mike Johnson reporting.